Berliners couldn't believe their eyes. On the morning of August 13, 1961, they woke up to a divided city. The East German government had decided to put up a wall. A wall that would become one of the defining symbols of the Cold War. And a symbol that still defines what Berlin means today. It was first built with bricks and barbed wire and gradually turned into a monstrosity. At 3.6 meters high and 167 kilometers long, it was intended to keep East German citizens from fleeing to the west. The wall was the border between the Eastern Bloc and the West. But the wall was much more than a political division. It divided families, it divided communities, and it also killed people. At least 138 people were killed or died at the wall, including 100 East Germans who died while trying to flee. One of the first people who died as a result of the Berlin Wall was Gunther Litvin, a tailor from East Berlin. 11 days after the wall went up, he tried to escape through a canal. A policeman shot him dead. My brother jumped into the water from the grounds of the Charité Hospital when he heard, coming from the bridge, stop, we'll shoot. And he couldn't believe that shots would be fired, since until then no one had ever been shot. Today, Jürgen Litvin runs a memorial close to the place where Gunther Litvin died. Many tourists come to see the original watchtower. From up here, you sense how minimal the chances were of those who tried to flee. Germans rightly commemorate the 9th of November 1989, the day the Berlin Wall fell. But for the friends and the relatives of the wall's victims, the 13th of August 1961 is also a particularly important day of remembrance.